in the combat shorts and we have Stuart Bullock from Lembert Fight Club in the blue and white. Both fighters making the debut here. Calm looks uh, like he's very confident. That was a very arrogant uh, sort of stance there wasn't it? And yeah. Uh, he could do that in uh, pro MMA, not without getting hit on the hit on the chin. Oh. Callum on top here. He's driving his elbow into the head of Stu. Um, he's looking for some sort of guillotine from there or something. I think uh, yeah. Callum with some big body shots. And he passes to half guard. I think Big Stu should be looking for a reversal from here. I was going to get stood back up. I think the uh, Big Stu in it may look a little bit like uh, Little John. Yeah, yeah, that, I think that could be right. Being 64 kilos. Yeah. And now Callum into half guard and transition to mount quite well. He's against the cage here, so Stu could use it to boost off. And he does do it pretty well. He's now in top position. So he used the cage nicely there. Callum looking to climb those legs up. Stu needs to be careful here. He could do with getting his hips down, his head up, getting some posture. He needs to get that head up. He needs to get that head out. Callum using good head control and uh, Stu's out then back to his feet. Let's see if Callum has the same uh, arrogant... Or I'm sorry, I don't like that, Andy. I don't know what your thoughts are on it. Uh, I wouldn't fancy someone standing in front of me and doing that. I think I'd punch all to the one. And he's uh, put himself into a guillotine short. I think he played a nice fight against. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. So Stu needs so. to use his legs here to stretch him out. Maybe uh, uh, use an oblique twist to the left hand side. Might just to get his head out there. Now let's see if uh, Callum can back up some of that arrogance. There's already um, some red marks from the right hands of Callum uh, to the body. Callum, they don't seem to be troubling Stu too much. He's looking over to his corner there for advice. It's nice to see him punch uh, on the inside. It's nice to see from the debut fire that he can be composed and uh, listen to his corner. Yeah, I think that's uh, something that... Yeah, oh, he's put himself into a triangle, that was, a, that was a, an error there, but Stu not having head control, let him pass. And the end of the round. See how well the uh, fight is listening to the men between rounds. Yeah, it was a close, well fought round, that. Who would you say took that? Possibly even. Yeah, I think it was, it was very close. There was um, 
some give and take either way, some heavy body shots landed uh, on the ground from Callum, um, some submission attempts and takedowns from uh, Stu. Let's see how they come out for the second. Let's see if Campbell come, uh, Callum comes out a little bit more humble for this round. That's a 10 second warning for the corner men. Well out of the cage and ready for the next round. Round two is underway. And kicks from both fires in there. Oh, the oh there. nice take down. Big Stu getting his hooks in. Steve can fly now. Uh, yeah, he needs to stretch him out here. Colin could be in some trouble. He rolls. He's managed to turn him off in half guard top position for Callum. Now Callum could pass here. He's quite a loose half guard. Oh, he's managed to reverse him. Callum giving his base away there, managed to, uh, Stuart managed to reverse position. Neither fighter really holding position uh, as well as we've seen that. I think they've been rushing a little bit, uh, both of them, so leaving a little bit too much room for uh, manoeuvre from the opponent. That's right, um, you know, it's an interesting guard from um, Callum, He's stretching the legs out and squeezing. He's well, starting to climb his legs up now, this is better. The referee's going to have a look here because there doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on. Yeah, it's uh, fairly inactive on the ground at the minute. Referee's having a good look. Oh, there's a reversal there. But again, they're both quite tied up. I don't see much happening from here. Uh, Callum needs to escape his head. If Stu keeps his position with the, um, the arms locked round, it's not going to go any further from here and uh, Mark is going to stand them up. Uh, that's what we're looking to do there with the position. No, Stu uh, let it go of that, which is um, it's interesting. <laughs> and uh, body shots down the pound from the bottom and top. This is something you probably only see in an amateur fight. Callum looking for the key locket again. Uh, some quite frantic movement on the ground. Is, uh, is the arm in there? It's hard to see from this angle. I, I think Stu should definitely be getting his hips down and his head up, blocking his head up. He, um, leaving his head down like that is very dangerous for submissions while Collins climbing those legs up. Collins looking for the Kimura from Gary's. Not got over the wrist. Yeah, he's, he's going for the right thing, he's just um, on the referee stands him up. That's good by the referee. A very strange stance that uh, Callum's got out, so... Don't think that'll really work for the pro style. I, I don't... It's not something I like at all, the... Uh, we come to the end of uh, round two. How would you say that went there? Again, a pretty even round. It was um, two and four. I'm glad I'm Tom commentating and not judging. I think um, the corners will be telling the fighters this is a very close fight, and uh, if somebody gets a dominant round this round, they could take the fight. I think that's what they both need to do. It, uh, need to come out and have a big round. Callum listen to his corner. Nice and relaxed corner work over there. Stu as well, two experienced cornermen. Stu from Len Bates Fight Club. He predicted a submission win for this fight, so it'd be interesting to see if, uh, if he looks straight in this round. Interestingly, when asked who uh, both of these would like to fight outside the UFC, they both said Alex Reed. 
seems to be a common answer these days for the people within MMA. I think they'd have a bit of a job on them fight with Alex Reed either of these two. Yeah, I think um, Alex Reed, although he gets quite a lot of um, on a warning there for a headshot. That's the second time it's happened. I don't think they've been overly they've been intentional, but he was warned about it previously. Headshot went in there from Callum as well. Yep. No complaints. And he's caught a leg. Nice good take take down. Down. Very, very good take down. He needs this though with a point deducted. Shed some good leverage in centre. It'll be interesting how that affects the judging. If the, if the fight has been close, a point deduction is not something you want. I think Stewart is going to look to force this fight now for the, for the last round. He's definitely going to look for it. He's got the head over the, over the far side. If he can keep working to pass, he can maybe look to secure an arm triangle. Callum's giving the arm for it. He could get an arm triangle from here if he can pass it. Oh, and he gets the arm out. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people who uh, would like to say they'd like to fight Alex Reed, but it'd be a different matter if he was actually in there. Absolutely, Alex Reed's been around the circuit for a long, long time. Fought some very, very good fighters and had some good wins. Some of the best in the world. So back to this, you can hear the screaming from the corner, from Stu's corner, I think uh, they know with that point deduction there is a sense of urgency that he needs to do something this round. Yeah, he has something to push the pace. Well, Callum's managed to reverse him and transition to Mark at the same time, but has he fallen into an arm triangle? I think he possibly has. Uh, he's That's in Mark Lee's now. He's managed to get out of there. And uh, a couple of hook smashers there to the uh, shoulders. Would you say that was a hook smash or a tango? <laughs> Possibly a bit of both. Well, he's looking for the shin, a shin across the jaw. Well, he's going for a triangle from the top, looking for... And the ball back to the feet. It's good seeing both pushing the pace, there's still be another big oh. blow. <laughs> Bullet to the floor there. The body shots coming in, nice heavy body shots. I think Callum's showing a little bit more respect now, it's nice to see. He's gone for that guillotine from standing. He's not quite high enough over the head, I don't think. And that's the 10 second marker. Oh, if you could stretch him out now, maybe he could finish this. Yeah, I think uh, Stuart's very uh, close to the end of the fight. It's a good finish and the fight's over. That's got very good going to the judge. I think with the, uh, the point deduction, will have made a difference I swear it. We will find out in two minutes from our MC, Mr. Andy Sledge.